My comms hub detected a garbled message sent with strange resonance qualities. Not unusual, given the atypical qualities of local space-time in this quadrant. Systems spent several cycles attempting to reconstruct the message, to no avail. Analysis indicates that the signal shows signs of degradation corresponding to initial transmission, occurring before the planet I orbit was even formed. And yet... My name is spoken clearly amid the static and distortion. I traded with a Corvax entity I met on Ictalac. The sentient offered refined rods of Chrysonite as part payment for various star mapping datums recorded by my ship's sensor modules. In the process, it encountered the anomalous message I detected several cycles ago. I dismissed the signal as a chance event, a random occurrence, a coalescence of interference that happened to resemble a spoken voice. In truth, it had disturbed me. The entity analyzed the message in its own curiosity and revealed another layer beneath the audio component. visual of a world with green skies and an obsidian moon. The mysterious message continues to prey upon my mind. With the aid of the entity, I have learned that its temporal origin is approximately two to five thousand solar cycles from now. narrowed down a point of transmission to a sector of space in the haze zone, close to the galactic anterior. I realize now that to ignore the signal would be an error. It is incumbent upon me to trace it. In my more fanciful moments, I wonder if it might be a warning or a revelation. I have set a course.
This will be my last recording for quite some time. I have refitted my vessel with a powerful Advinsko hyperdrive and a cryogenic suspensor pod. It is my intention to enter a dormancy state in order to survive the journey to the distant source of the anomalous message. I have nothing to hold me here. I have committed myself. While I sleep, I will listen to the original. My resting mind might be able to parse yet more meaning from it. Spatial shearing zones in the system are causing the formation of a singularity. Space-time is becoming malleable. I'm unable to depart. Voice is mine. I am warning myself. 